Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, it is now time to unbox the fourth generation iPad, which is running the brand new A6 X processor. So, let's have a good look. So yeah, here it is. As you all see, my unboxing knife is this one again. So let's just cut through the packaging. I've been playing with the iPad mini as well, so if we check on my channel, I've got some iPad mini videos up. We got us to a quick first impression and the unboxing at the moment. I've got a size comparison video that I shot just a little bit ago, so stay tuned for that one as well. That's uh, comparing against the Nexus 7. I'm also going to be doing comparisons against this bad boy in terms of performance because obviously I don't mind having a bit of a slow process as long as it's not too slow up to the latest and greatest. So here it is. I got 32 gigabyte in black. Now the reason why I got the black is because I prefer the black one in the uh, iPad. I prefer my phones white, but I prefer my tablets black. I don't really know why. <laughs> it's just one of those things. So there it is. There is the beast. So I stick it off to the side. Now it's a pretty straightforward process. What you get inside the box, you're going to get your Apple stickers and your fingertip kind of blah de blah inside here. Oh look, I got some more Apple stickers. Yeah. Again, it's as I said in my iPad when you unbox him, it's kind of gimmicky and I understand kind of why because people are like, oh, I want Apple stickers, but who really sticks them around the whole house? I put one on the back of a door one time, but that's a door you can't even see, so go figure. Yes, you get your lightning uh, lightning quality cable, move to USB, and again, I'm a fan of this in all honesty, I, um, I like it, I like the way it works, I know it's proprietary, but it's Apple, get over it. This is one obviously you get a bit of a different charger with this one. You get one that da, 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 it pops like that I believe. We've got plastic on there, no? Yep, so basically it just pops in there like that. And away it goes. Now obviously the other one comes with just like a little connector like that. So I'm gonna guess this probably needs a bit more juice, so that's the reason why you get this one. But you put USB in there and obviously in the UK, you've got your three prong adapter in there. So nice and easy job done. And that's it. Nothing else. But let's be honest, we are here to see this, the big boy himself, and yes, I'm probably a little bit more excited in some ways for this than the Mini, um, I like the idea of the Mini and, I, and I, I would like a Mini version of this, but I want these specifications in a Mini, and I think that's that's what obviously I'm going to be missing. So for now, this could be the replacement to my current 3rd gen, just because I am a person that likes the best performing one out there, and here it is. So. In all its glory. So obviously on the back, you've got your Apple logo with your iPad, you've got your camera there, which I believe is the same 5 megapixel camera, which can do 1080p, you got your power assist lock switch, your little microphone there, and obviously your 3.5mm headphone jack, completely flush all the way down the side, and again, to be honest, I don't think the weight of these are too big for one-handed operation. Now when people say one-handed, yeah, you can't hold it like that, but I almost have it like that, and isn't that one-handed as well? Maybe. The Nexus 7 kind of bridges the gap and I can get my hand all the way around it properly without really compromising anything. Anyway, Sam, shut up. Oh, in the bottom, you've got your lightning port there with your lightning connector and your speaker. On the side, you've got your volume up and down, which is the standard kind of rocker that we've seen on the other iPads. And your sight, your, um, you can have it as a silencer or your rotation switch. And obviously on the front of the device, I believe it's a 1.2 megapixel camera which could do 720p video. So yeah people, that is it. That is my unboxing of the 4th generation iPad, the Retina Display. Probably going to be my favourite one, but who knows, I've been proved wrong by previously. Anyway people, thank you for watching. If you want any questions not to do by now, hit me up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullen, should be about there. And yeah, please do hit the like button, it is very much appreciated, it really does help every one of my videos. Please don't forget to retweet, you know, share, all that kind of good stuff, it is, again, very much appreciated. Anyway, Sam, stop rambling and start playing with it. And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, everyone.